What is up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys we are week 14 into eternal evolution and this week i thought things were slowing down but actually i've had some huge huge jumps in progression just tried a few different things out and we're making waves so first of all let's come have a look at the lost valley and sorry guys i'm a little bit under the weather i'm losing my voice a little bit <clears throat> but we finally completed every single dungeon in the uh the lost valleys so sincero's marsh ex3 and this is actually my favorite dungeon to farm right now um you can just get so much more from empowering your <clears throat> sorry guys empowering your commanders it makes a big big difference these caves would be my next favorite um i feel like terra dome is actually the worst obviously you still want to pick up the um the um divine prototypes they are good but now that you can get mythic ones from events and stuff they are just overshadowing this i uh, say overshadowing it and it just sort of makes the terra dome nowhere near as valuable as it used to be uh Disa Kays, i think i found this one the hardest it actually was the last one for me to complete um had to build a sort of energy no sorry hunter team comp with anpu as our tank but yeah, we managed to to drop it. I'll um I'll do a video on this for you guys. But it's finally gone down, and the Deezer Caves is still useful. I wouldn't put too much into it, but we do get Hero, Vigorious, um, Sun Signal, Overload, Hawkeye, Zephyr, like loads of good gear sets here. So it's still a very good place to get gear from. But um, I'd sort of casually pick it up where I'm focusing on building up my commanders. The triangle, the crimson, no, not the crimson rot. Is it? Yeah, I've almost beaten hell now. So um, Reaper Decart is going down at level 10. Like, I literally jumped from level 7 to level 10. Just thought of I would try it and yeah, absolutely smashed it. Um, so team one, um, we've got Orphan as our tank. We've got Anpu basically as our damage dealer. And Skino basically is crowd control and damage dealer. But they're sort of doing all of the work. And Anpu has no right to be in this team. He should definitely be in team number two for summoners. But what I found is obviously Anpu just blows Shizzle up. And in team two, he actually dies because he's quite squishy. Um, and he's always blowing up his zombies. And you need minions to try and survive this. Uh, oh, I've actually got some upgrades now. So let's... Uh, Let's just get that ring in there instead. Um, but yeah, we got Sif, um, Daniel, uh, Fiona, who I'm not a fan of Fiona. She's actually really good, but I just I don't want to play with a fairy. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I do not want to play with a fairy. Um, but yeah, and then we've got Mooka and Jax. Um, yeah, and this is just absolutely killing it right now. Um, hell is going to be hard. Um, so we need three teams to beat this so i th i don't know how i'm gonna do number team number two probably gonna try and not use summoners because i need those for reaper Deca. but yeah we'll figure something out but it feels good it feels good boys really really making some progression and we can just start to farm these more comfortably actually how many more do we get now 43 and 21 so i'm actually gonna buy a whole like to the max uh, yeah we're gonna buy a whole bunch of these this is what i'm gonna farm today just um it's just gonna help a lot with progression upgrading your gear gives you big fat juicy stat bonuses which just carries you massively um so yeah i guess the other thing is I, i'm always killing it in the uh exotic expedition i'm usually in the top five uh top three uh, this is quite a hard one though um i'll show you the team that i'm running Ah, oh, not ah. Oh. All right, then I won't because it's going to take too long for me to pick it. But just heavily, just leaning on my summoners for that. Um, it's crazy. I literally use them on every floor. Um, so I'm just going to sort of scroll to the right and go back and forth. So Anpu, um, the hard carry, doing everything on my account. Um, got to upgrade some of his gear, which is really really nice. Uh, 42k attack. Um, 111 accuracy, 
55% crit rate, 16% uh, crit damage. Crit damage is low. I'd like to bump it up, but it's kind of difficult. I mean, we've got Surge on him as well. But yeah, he is just a force to be reckoned with. Um, Jax, obviously, like, just insane. Uh, but they're sort of old. Daniel, I've started using. I'm not really impressed with him just yet. Um, he's, like, kind of fully maxed out. Need to sort of awaken him a little bit more, but he seems okay. I'm not, like, blown away with him. And Cora, I've, like, you know, sort of been investing in her. Really do want to sort of... I don't know. What um what levels can we evolve to? Where are we now? Does it say? So I, I'm guessing she's immortal, but there's immortal plus one, maybe. Um... Does it say in her talents? Oh, so we just literally one more. So, yeah, I think that's where I'm going to leave it. I don't really want to go go extreme EX5. Um, yeah, because it's all, it's all about sort of arena. I mean, there's some nice stuff here for PvE as well. But, yeah, I'd rather stick with what I know. Um, let's see. What else... Um, Ares, really, really nice. Um, really good Vanguard hero. Um, needs a little bit of more work on him. Sif is insane. Um, I think I just had her at like Mythic plus one. And she was out damaging Jax on um, Twilight. Is it Twilight? Um, no, the Holy, Holy Land contract. She was insane. The amount of damage she was doing. So, yeah, surprisingly strong sub. I did invest in her a little bit, more than I wanted to, because uh, I'm trying to focus on vanguards right now, but she's good. Uh, Fiona, like I said, she's a fairy, a forest fairy. She has no right to be in this game, but she is very good. She is good. You can't deny it. Definitely worth investing in. So I guess for me right now, um, it's just the, the Vanguard. So these are the two that I'm focusing on now is Leo and Zane. Uh, Leo is in terrible gear. Um, I will sort of, oh, it's all right, actually. Okay gear, but definitely could be better. But Leo, yeah, he, that's, he's definitely getting priority with the hybrid, um, genes at the moment. And yeah, just need to bump him up a little bit, then Zane. So yeah, focusing on those Vanguards. And then... Be working on my tanks, so uh, Wormigon and then Carbonara um, will be next on the list. And then Skino. Skino is really, really good. Like, considering he's just mythic, sometimes on certain content, he out-damages my Ravenar. And Ravenar is, like, fully maxed out. So what is she? She is um, Immortal plus three. She, her awakening is God knows. Um, what is that? Pl so th plus three for the awakening. And she's getting out damaged by just a mythic Skino in just like average gear. He is, and he brings control as well. Like he is so strong. So a big fan of the Skino. Um, and then I guess it's just seeing what, oh, actually Pandemonium is on the list as well. Like very, very good tank. Then I guess it just depends where the wind takes me. So that is week 14. That's what's been going on with the account. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. I'm going to take some medicine before I pass out. And I'll see you all in the video soon. Peace.